The Canaanite civilization refers to an ancient and culturally rich society that thrived in the region of Canaan, encompassing parts of present-day Israel, Palestine, Lebanon, and Jordan. Flourishing during the Bronze Age, the Canaanites were renowned for their advanced urban centers, intricate social structures, and distinctive religious practices. The term, Canaanite, encompasses a diverse group of Semitic-speaking people who shared common elements in language and culture. Studying the history of the Canaanite civilization holds paramount significance in unraveling the tapestry of ancient cultures and understanding the roots of contemporary societies in the Middle East. The Canaanites played a pivotal role in shaping the cultural and historical landscape of the region, influencing neighboring civilizations such as the Egyptians and Mesopotamians. Examining their contributions provides valuable insights into the dynamics of cross-cultural interactions and the evolution of human civilization. Moreover, the Canaanites' historical significance extends to their impact on religious traditions, with some scholars proposing connections between Canaanite religious practices and later monotheistic faiths. By delving into the Canaanite past, we gain a deeper appreciation for the complexities of human history, the interconnectedness of cultures, and the enduring legacy of ancient civilizations. As we embark on this exploration, let us unravel the mysteries of the Canaanite civilization, appreciating the nuances that make their story a crucial chapter in the grand narrative of human civilization. The region of Canaan, central to the Canaanite civilization, is situated in the eastern Mediterranean, encompassing parts of modern-day Israel, Palestine, Lebanon, and Jordan. Bounded by the Mediterranean Sea to the west and the Jordan River to the east, Canaan's strategic location facilitated trade and cultural exchange, making it a crossroads of ancient civilizations. Canaan's diverse geography played a pivotal role in shaping the Canaanite way of life. From the fertile plains along the coast to the mountainous terrain inland, the region offered a range of ecosystems that influenced settlement patterns and economic activities. The coastal plains provided fertile soil for agriculture, fostering the growth of urban centers, while the mountains offered natural defenses and strategic advantages. The Jordan River Valley, with its arable land, was another critical feature influencing settlement and agriculture. The Dead Sea, one of the lowest points on Earth, not only added to the unique topography but also contributed valuable resources such as minerals. The geographical diversity of Canaan profoundly influenced the Canaanite culture. Coastal cities engaged in maritime trade, establishing connections with neighboring civilizations. The availability of fertile land in the plains encouraged agricultural practices, leading to surplus food production and supporting a growing population. The mountainous areas, with their rugged terrain, provided natural defenses that influenced the development of fortified cities. This, in turn, impacted social structures, as city-states emerged with distinct identities and governance systems. The geographic features also influenced religious beliefs, with natural elements like mountains, rivers, and the sea being incorporated into the Canaanite pantheon. The diverse landscape of Canaan, with its mix of challenges and opportunities, created a dynamic environment that shaped the Canaanite civilization in profound ways. The roots of the Canaanite civilization can be traced back to the early 2nd millennium BCE. Archaeological evidence suggests that Canaan was inhabited by diverse ethnic groups, and over time, these groups coalesced into a distinctive Canaanite identity. The early Bronze Age witnessed the gradual formation of settled communities engaged in agriculture and trade. Nomadic and semi-nomadic groups played a crucial role in the region's early history, contributing to the cultural mosaic that would become the Canaanite civilization. These early settlers established the foundation for the sophisticated societies that would emerge in later periods. Canaan's strategic location made it a nexus for cultural exchange and trade between neighboring civilizations. The Egyptians to the south, Mesopotamians to the northeast, and Hittites to the north all interacted with the Canaanites, influencing and being influenced by their distinct culture. Trade routes, such as the Via Maris along the coast, facilitated the flow of goods, ideas, and technologies. 
the interactions with neighboring cultures had a profound impact on the Canaanite civilization. From the exchange of goods and artistic styles to the adoption of writing systems and religious practices, the Canaanites were dynamic participants in the broader tapestry of ancient Near Eastern civilizations. As the Canaanite civilization progressed, urbanization became a defining feature of its societal structure. Prominent city-states, each with its own unique character, emerged as centers of political, economic, and cultural activity. Cities like Ugarit, Megiddo, and Hazor became hubs for trade and administration, showcasing the sophistication of Canaanite society. The development of urban centers marked the transition from small agricultural communities to complex societies with specialized labor, monumental architecture, and organized governance. These city-states often competed for resources and influence, contributing to the dynamic political landscape of ancient Canaan. The establishment of urban centers also laid the groundwork for the flourishing of art, literature, and religious practices. Temples, palaces, and other monumental structures became not only symbols of power but also repositories of cultural identity. The Canaanite society exhibited a hierarchical structure with distinct social classes that played essential roles in shaping the dynamics of daily life. At the top of the social hierarchy were the ruling elites, comprising kings, nobles, and high-ranking officials. These elites wielded political power and often controlled economic resources. Beneath the ruling class were the merchants, landowners, and skilled artisans, forming the middle class. This segment of society contributed significantly to economic activities, trade, and cultural development. The majority of the population consisted of farmers and laborers, forming the lower class. While social mobility was limited, individuals could ascend through the ranks based on achievements or favorable circumstances. Family played a central role in Canaanite society, serving as the basic unit of social organization. The family structure was patriarchal, with the father as the head of the household. Extended families, including multiple generations, lived together, contributing to a sense of community and shared identity. Gender roles were well defined, with men primarily engaged in agricultural work, trade, or military service, while women managed household responsibilities and played crucial roles in childcare. Marriage was a significant social institution, often arranged to strengthen alliances between families. The concept of lineage and inheritance was vital, ensuring the continuity of family legacies. Religious practices also influenced family life, with domestic rituals and ceremonies conducted to honor deities and seek their blessings for the well-being of the family. The family unit was not only a socio-economic entity but also a religious and cultural one, contributing to the overall cohesion of Canaanite society. Canaan's diverse geography facilitated a range of economic activities that sustained the Canaanite civilization. Agriculture was a cornerstone of the economy, with fertile plains along the coast and in the Jordan River Valley supporting the cultivation of grains, fruits, and other crops. Olive oil and wine production were significant industries, contributing to trade both regionally and internationally. Trade played a pivotal role in the Canaanite economy, with a network of trade routes connecting Canaan to Egypt, Mesopotamia, and other neighboring regions. Coastal cities served as bustling ports, engaging in maritime trade, while overland routes like the Via Maris facilitated the exchange of goods. The Canaanites were skilled traders, exporting goods such as cedar wood, spices, textiles, and metalwork. This economic interdependence with neighboring cultures not only fueled prosperity but also led to cultural exchange and the adoption of innovations. The Canaanite religious landscape was rich and diverse, characterized by a pantheon of deities each associated with various aspects of life and nature. Among the prominent gods and goddesses were Baal, the storm and fertility deity, El, the supreme god and father of the divine pantheon, Asherah, the mother goddess, and Anat, the goddess of war and love. These deities, along with others, formed a complex and interconnected divine hierarchy. The Canaanite pantheon reflected the close connection between religion and the natural world. 
Deities were often linked to natural elements such as mountains, rivers, and the sea. The worship of these gods and goddesses played a vital role in daily life, influencing everything from agriculture to trade and governance. Canaanite religious practices were marked by elaborate rituals and ceremonies conducted to honor and appease the deities. Agricultural cycles were intertwined with religious calendars, with festivals celebrating planting, harvest, and seasonal changes. These festivities often involved processions, feasts, and communal celebrations, fostering a sense of unity and shared identity. Sacrificial offerings were a common religious practice, with animals and sometimes even humans offered to the gods to seek favor or forgiveness. The rituals were conducted in temples and sacred spaces, with priests and priestesses playing central roles in facilitating communication between the divine and mortal realms. Divination, through methods like casting lots or examining the livers of sacrificial animals, was another prevalent religious practice aimed at seeking guidance from the gods. The Canaanites believed that maintaining a harmonious relationship with the divine was essential for the well-being of individuals and the community. Temples held a central place in Canaanite religious life, serving as the physical and spiritual focal points of the community. These structures were often elaborate and adorned with intricate carvings and symbols, reflecting the significance of the deities they housed. Cities had dedicated temples to specific gods, and pilgrimage sites attracted worshippers from various regions. Prominent among the religious centers was the city of Ugarit, home to the famous Temple of Baal. This temple, along with others across Canaan, not only served as places of worship but also as centers for economic and administrative activities. The priesthood played a crucial role in temple affairs, overseeing rituals, maintaining sacred spaces, and managing the wealth generated through offerings. Canaanite artistic expression was diverse and multifaceted, reflecting the rich cultural tapestry of the civilization. Artisans employed a variety of mediums, including pottery, sculpture, jewelry, and wall paintings, to convey both religious and secular themes. Canaanite art often featured intricate designs, vibrant colors, and symbolic motifs, showcasing the creativity and craftsmanship of the society. Canaanite pottery was a prominent form of artistic expression. Decorative motifs, including geometric patterns and stylized representations of animals and plants, adorned vessels used for daily life and religious ceremonies. The artistry of Canaanite pottery revealed a keen aesthetic sense and technical skill. Sculptures played a significant role in Canaanite art, with human and animal figures serving both religious and decorative purposes. Statues of deities, kings, and mythical creatures were crafted with meticulous detail, showcasing the sculptor's ability to capture the nuances of form and expression. Canaanite jewelry, crafted from materials such as gold, silver, and precious stones, reflected the society's wealth and appreciation for ornamentation. Elaborate pieces, including necklaces, bracelets, and earrings, featured intricate designs inspired by religious symbols and natural motifs. Canaanite architecture encompassed a range of structures, from residential buildings to monumental edifices, showcasing the society's engineering prowess and aesthetic sensibilities. Urban centers in Canaan were characterized by well-planned layouts, with streets, squares, and public spaces designed for both practical and ceremonial purposes. City walls and fortifications provided defense against external threats, highlighting the strategic considerations in urban planning. Canaanite temples were architectural marvels, often featuring large courtyards, grand entrances, and intricately decorated interiors. The Temple of Baal in Ugarit and other religious structures served as not only places of worship but also as centers of cultural and economic activities. The ruling elites constructed palaces that showcased both opulence and administrative functionality. Megiddo, for example, boasted a palace with multiple rooms, courtyards, and storage facilities, reflecting the complex societal organization and governance. The artistic legacy of the Canaanite civilization extended its influence beyond its own time, leaving an indelible mark on the art and architecture of later cultures in the region. 
The artistic traditions of the Canaanites continued to flourish among the Phoenician and Carthaginian civilizations. These maritime cultures inherited and further developed Canaanite artistic styles, influencing the Mediterranean world through their trade networks. Canaanite art and architecture had a lasting impact on the cultures mentioned in biblical texts, as well as on later Hellenistic societies. The fusion of Canaanite artistic elements with the cultural milieu of subsequent civilizations contributed to the eclectic artistic traditions of the broader region. The Canaanite civilization made significant contributions to the development of writing systems in the ancient Near East. Various scripts and languages were employed to record administrative, religious, and literary texts. Canaan is renowned for its early use of alphabetic writing systems. The Proto-Sinaitic script, one of the earliest known alphabets, emerged in the Sinai Peninsula during the Middle Bronze Age. This script laid the foundation for later scripts, including Phoenician, Aramaic, Hebrew, and Greek. The Phoenicians, descendants of the Canaanites, played a crucial role in disseminating the alphabet across the Mediterranean. The Phoenician script, a direct descendant of the Proto-Sinaitic script, served as the basis for several ancient and modern writing systems. The Canaanite civilization was multilingual, with various dialects spoken across the region. Phoenician, a Canaanite language, became the language of trade and communication for the Phoenician city-states. Hebrew, another Canaanite language, evolved into a sacred language used for religious texts. Canaanite literature, while not as extensive as that of some contemporaneous civilizations, left a lasting impact on the literary traditions of the ancient Near East. The city of Ugarit, a major cultural center in Canaan, yielded a trove of literary texts written in the Ugaritic language. These texts include mythological narratives, epic poetry, and religious hymns. The most famous among them is the Baal Cycle, a mythological epic detailing the exploits of the storm god Baal. The Canaanite influence on literature is also evident in the Hebrew Bible, Old Testament. Many biblical stories and themes can be traced back to Canaanite mythology, showcasing a continuity of literary traditions. The incorporation of Canaanite elements into biblical narratives underscores the cultural interchange in the region. The Canaanite contribution to the development of alphabetic writing systems had a profound and lasting impact on the cultural and intellectual heritage of the ancient world. The Phoenicians, as maritime traders, spread the Phoenician alphabet throughout the Mediterranean. This alphabet served as the basis for numerous scripts, including Aramaic, Greek, Latin, and eventually the modern alphabets used today. The simplicity and adaptability of the alphabet made it a revolutionary innovation in the history of writing systems. The Canaanite script and its descendants facilitated cultural transmission, enabling diverse cultures to record and communicate information more efficiently. The Greek alphabet, for example, became the foundation for Western alphabets, influencing the development of literature, philosophy, and science in classical antiquity. The Canaanite civilization, situated at the crossroads of the ancient world, was inevitably entangled in various conflicts and battles throughout its history. The region's strategic importance and valuable resources made it a sought-after prize for neighboring powers. The Canaanites often found themselves caught between the ambitions of major powers, including the ancient Egyptians. Pharaohs undertook military campaigns into Canaan, seeking to expand their influence and secure control over trade routes. The Battle of Megiddo, for example, was a significant clash between the Egyptian forces and Canaanite city-states. The city-states of Canaan were not immune to internal rivalries and conflicts. Competition for resources, trade routes, and dominance led to clashes between different Canaanite entities. City-states such as Ugarit, Megiddo, and Hazor engaged in both diplomatic maneuvering and military confrontations. Canaanite military strategies and tactics evolved in response to the geopolitical challenges of the region. The city-states developed defensive fortifications and employed various military techniques to protect their territories. Canaanite city-states constructed impressive fortifications, including city walls and citadels, to deter external threats. 
The strategic placement of these defenses aim to secure key points along trade routes and provide protection against invading forces. Given Canaan's coastal geography, naval warfare played a crucial role. Maritime powers like the Phoenicians utilized their naval prowess for both trade and defense. The ability to control sea routes contributed to the strategic significance of Canaanite city-states. Canaanite city-states often relied on mercenary forces, skilled in warfare, to bolster their military capabilities. These mercenaries were recruited from various regions, contributing to the cultural diversity of Canaanite armies. Wars and conflicts had profound consequences on the Canaanite civilization, influencing its political landscape, societal structures, and overall well-being. The frequent wars and invasions created a state of political instability in Canaan. City-states often shifted allegiances, formed alliances, or faced occupation by foreign powers. This dynamic environment influenced the governance and leadership structures of the Canaanite entities. Wars disrupted trade routes and economic activities, affecting the prosperity of Canaanite city-states. The competition for control over key trade routes and resources led to economic challenges, impacting the livelihoods of the population. Despite the adversities, wars also facilitated cultural exchange as conquerors and conquered peoples interacted. The Canaanites absorbed elements from the cultures of their conquerors, contributing to the cultural diversity of the region. The decline of the Canaanite civilization was the result of a complex interplay of internal and external factors that unfolded over several centuries. Canaan experienced invasions by various regional powers, including the Assyrians, Babylonians, and Persians. These military campaigns, often driven by imperial ambitions, resulted in the subjugation and occupation of Canaanite city-states. Wars and conflicts disrupted trade routes and economic activities, impacting the prosperity of the Canaanite civilization. The region's strategic importance also made it a target for competing powers seeking to control key trade routes and resources. The Canaanites faced challenges of cultural assimilation as conquerors imposed their customs, languages, and religious practices. The blending of cultures, while contributing to cultural diversity, also marked a transformation in the identity of the Canaanite people. Despite its decline, the Canaanite civilization left a lasting legacy that reverberates through the annals of history. The most enduring legacy of the Canaanites is the development of the alphabet. The Phoenician script, derived from earlier Canaanite scripts, became the precursor to numerous writing systems, including Greek, Latin, and their modern counterparts. The simplicity and efficiency of the alphabet revolutionized the way humans communicate and record information. Canaanite literature, including the Ugaritic texts, influenced the literary traditions of subsequent cultures. Biblical literature, rooted in Canaanite mythological themes and narratives, preserved elements of Canaanite cultural heritage. The maritime legacy of the Canaanites, especially the Phoenicians, continued to shape the ancient Mediterranean world. Phoenician seafaring prowess and trade networks facilitated cultural exchanges and economic development, influencing societies far beyond the shores of Canaan. The Canaanite civilization served as a cultural bridge, influencing the development of neighboring and successor civilizations. The Phoenicians, inheritors of the Canaanite legacy, played a crucial role in disseminating Canaanite cultural elements. The city of Carthage, a Phoenician colony, became a major power in the Mediterranean, impacting the cultural and political landscape of the region. Canaanite religious and mythological themes permeated biblical traditions. Stories, characters, and cultural practices from Canaanite mythology found their way into the Hebrew Bible, preserving aspects of Canaanite cultural heritage in the religious narratives of later civilizations. The Hellenistic period witnessed the synthesis of Canaanite cultural elements with Greek influences. The blending of Canaanite and Hellenistic traditions contributed to the cultural diversity of the broader Mediterranean world. The Canaanite civilization, with its roots in the ancient Near East, emerges as a complex and vibrant tapestry of human history. From the coastal cities to the inland settlements, 
Canaanites shaped their society against the backdrop of a diverse geographic landscape. The civilization's contributions, spanning literature, art, architecture, and the development of writing systems, have left an indelible mark on the cultural heritage of the region and beyond. In the pursuit of knowledge, we illuminate not only the Canaanite civilization but also the shared heritage of humanity. As the torchbearers of this legacy, our responsibility is to ensure that the story of the Canaanites continues to captivate and inspire generations to come. Through dedicated research, meticulous excavation, and a commitment to preserving cultural heritage, we can ensure that the Canaanite civilization remains a source of enlightenment and wonder for the world.